We do um, biomedical image processing. We're a pathology lab. So our business is to provide a diagnosis of some cellular material on glass slides. These are typical microscope slides, uh, 50 millimeters by 30 millimeters. Um, the dentist puts the material from somebody's mouth on the slide. Uh, we stain it, cover slip it, and we provide a diagnosis of any abnormality on the slide. But our particular specialty is that we do computer-aided diagnosis. So we scan the slides digitally. We look for atypical cells or other material of interest to the, den to the dentist. And um, we show that well, we have our internal pathologists who look at the images and r render the diagnosis based um, on what they see and also on the, um, the images which our computer software selects for them. What we do, we, we have cells. And cells have nuclei. And the bigger and darker they are, the worse it is, to simplify it. And we want to find the cells and find the spaces between them. And so that's the basic problem of measuring distances between objects in images. And um, I've always done a lot with, with distance transforms, a certain kind of a, uh, image processing algorithm which, which helps do that. And, and I thought, well, I wanted to do something more general and look at it, not so much what distance transforms can do for me, but what can distance transforms do in general. That's sort of the spirit of NKS. You don't necessarily try and solve a particular problem, but you see what are the class of problems that can be solved by different um, systems. So I set up a cellular automata based on that and with Mathematica. And it was helpful. The graphics input-output was helpful. I found that it went, rel went fast. It was, it, it, was, it was easy to set up. And um, I came up with a lot of interesting rules which did things, which I didn't know that these kinds of distance transforms could do. Mathematica has a notebook. And you can generate a large number of images and look at them and save them. You can save files. It's, it's, just a, it's a very um, broad system. You know, the integration of different parts of Mathematica. You can use it um, really as an integral part of your design, of your, of your software. You can also use it as a, as a kind of a tool to solve odd problems which come up, like some little statistics analysis. Some little, um, there are many little problems come up, and I, I use it a lot for that as well. The new graph capabilities in Mathematica 6 are going to be very helpful. It's built in. It's a lot faster than it used to be. So now you can go from this sort of very structured world of um, of the grid of a standard cellular automata, you can take that from an image and then and actually make um, graphs of things you see and treat them in some of the same ways.